All right, guys, so please take everything I'm about to say in today's video with a small grain of salt. Do not, you know, go off saying DBZoom confirmed this or that. None of this is confirmed at the end of the day. I'm just going to go by some trusted sources, quote unquote, trusted sources that has been right in the past as well as wrong. So that's why, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. Now, let's not let's not waste any time. Let's let's get straight into the chase. It looks like there's heavy rumors uh, floating around that we will be getting a Ultra Super Vegito for uh, the third part for the fourth anniversary. Now, you guys might be saying, um, how do you know there's going to be a uh, third part for the fourth anniversary? Very simple. Um, if you guys go to Dragon Ball Legends page, um, you guys can clearly see here that, you know, um, all their celebrations for the fourth anniversary basically counts down for number one two, three, four, and then obviously five down here. It says stay tuned. Now, um, this has to be a big deal just because um, they, they wouldn't really just put this as advertisement, um, at least in the English website, um, if it wasn't a big deal. Now, quick note, they do not have this in the JPN website. Um, they just have straight up uh, all the information that we already have. They do not have this question mark there for the JPN. But guys, uh, let me play this really quick in the background. While I talk, actually, this is going to be by Baraka01 over on Twitter. So go check him out. So, um, quote unquote, trusted sources. We're going to watch this first and foremost. Now, before we even get to the quote unquote, trusted sources, um, I just really want to quickly say I am genuinely confused as to why Dragon Ball Legends would bring out Ultra Super Vegito um, as of right now. And by the way, this looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, these editors and these they're just doing a phenomenal job as of late. I mean, they're just getting better and better. And some of these are actually better than, than the official Dragon Ball Legends artwork, to be honest with you guys, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna stop it there and then we're gonna keep on going here, guys. Um, I do not understand. I've mentioned here on my Twitter. I just don't understand it. We just got a Super Ultra Gogeta seven months ago, eight months ago at, at the latest. It just did not, it doesn't make any sense to me, guys. It, it really doesn't. This anniversary, we've gone three Saiyans. If in, if we do indeed get this uh, Ultra Super Vegito, we got MUI Goku, we got Dragon Fist. Now we're going to get this Super Vegito. And if we get this Ultra Super Vegito, um, it would most likely be a standalone banner if it falls in line with all the other Ultra units. Now, hopefully they kind of just throw a curveball and add extra units onto this banner because then we're just going to keep getting singular um, most of the time, singular units, right? Because, um, I mean, we ended up getting MUI Goku with the, with the, you know, transforming Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but that Vegeta is dead on arrival. Although some people still use him, but on the top 1000, nobody really uses him as well as, I mean, Tapion is actually pretty good. I'll take it back. Tapion, I, I really like him. I play with him a lot. Um, other than that, I just really wish they were at, to add like a powerful opponent, uh, for this fourth anniversary, not just Saiyans left and right, to be honest with you guys. Um, Maybe they're just trying to make money. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe our first ever dual Ultra Banner. Who knows, right? I just don't know. Remember, like I said, take this all with a grain of salt. Now, heading on to the uh, quote-unquote trusted sources. I like this guy. He's been right in the past. He's also been wrong in the past, like everybody else, right? Everybody else gets their sources from somebody, right? That nobody really knows. Like this guy, he got his sources from somebody and you don't know if you can trust that second person or where he got his sources from. Nobody really knows, right? That's why I keep saying take all this with a grain of salt. Now, he did make a YouTube video. He's based off of Japan. Um, so uh, the translations aren't 100% on par here. Uh, but he's basically quoting uh, Vegito Day, right? Vegito Day doesn't really exist. It's just something he's calling it. Um, basically, he says the anime in which Goku and Vegeta decided to combine uh, for Fusion, um, Vegito made his appearance, which was in episodes 268 to 270, uh, 272, right? Um, and then he goes on to say, the point worth noting is that it aired between June 28th and July 26th. That's one of his notes of what why he thinks Super Vegito will be coming out. Ultra Super Vegito, to be exact. Um, it could be it could be a LF, you know, Super Vegito, but we already have one, so wouldn't really make any sense. Um, and then he he goes on to basically say, um, if you were a Legends user, you pretty much recognize this period. Yes, it's considering, like I said, the translation is a little bit iffy, but he's saying uh, it's considering with the second half of the fourth anniversary period is is basically what I mentioned at the beginning of the video with this question mark right here. Uh, so it is a continuation of the fourth anniversary. Um, and then he actually he goes on to say a few other stuff here. 
Um, and like I said, take all this with a grain of salt. Uh, considering that Legends management tends to release new characters after anime and manga episodes on release dates. Not quite sure what he means by that. To be honest, like I said, this is all kind of iffy. Um, and then uh, he says, finally, some special information I've had for about a week now. So he said a source of his for about a week now uh, mentioned uh, pretty much that we will not be getting, uh, you know, Orange Piccolo and Gohan Beast um, for this third part of the fourth anniversary, perhaps maybe after, or there's still a chance because uh, you never know, right? You can't really trust the sources and until you know, right? So, um, and then he goes on to pretty much say, I'm trying to skip everything here. He's like, what I want to tell you was that there, there could be a small chance for the Dragon Ball Super Superhero collaboration, but then he finally gets to the point. Uh, he says, as you can see, uh, the way I'm talking, Ultra, Ultra Super Vegito is going to be implemented as a special, as a very special new character for the fourth anniversary. So he's saying b basically 99% sure of that. Um, from his trusted source, at the end of the day, nothing is 100%. Um, I'm going to just say 99% uh, from what he's saying. And if I'm stuttering on the way I'm speaking, it's because it's very hard to read these translations. The English is a little bit broken. So you have to like kind of just double think to make sure you're not misreading something. Um, what I think about this, I think it's very backwards. I really do. I just don't get why we're going to get three Saiyans and another Ultra Super Vegito, right? I mean, another Ultra Fusion. We just got Ultra Super Gogeta. And by the way, Fusion Wars are, are already pretty good, right? Um, I feel like this Ultra Super Gogeta actually has been aging quite nicely. He really has. And um, j just because Reds are currently running the meta with Android 17 and 18 and, of course, MUI Goku. So he does really, um, you know... You know, it all depends on where the meta's at right now, but he's definitely aging pretty nicely. And then Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is still pretty good. Uh, Majub is still pretty good. You got the leader slot. You can literally slap anybody on there. Super Vegito just got, uh, you know, got a Zenkai not too long ago. And of course, you know, Vegito Blue. And then we also got uh, Gogeta Blue, which is still runnable pretty much, right? Um, and yeah, and this, actually this this Gogeta also came out. He's really good. It's free to play Gogeta. I really like him. Um, you know, before we even get to region, for Fusion Warrior, I, I'm not quite sure what color he'd be. I would say he wouldn't be blue or uh, green because these are primaries, uh, pretty much colors for Fusion Warrior, right? Um, yellow is kind of dominated as well, to be honest with you guys. I would say more red. Uh, you know, red, they got Super Gogeta here, which is still really, really underrated, I believe. And purple got Super Vegito. So they pretty much got every color, but red... Or yellow, I, I would toss out in the mix. Either red or yellow, uh, in my personal opinion. It has to be a color, right? Either red or yellow. I think blue, green is taken pretty heavily. Um, purples, you know, we got Super Vegito. He's he's a pretty much a powerhouse on the tone. I don't think he's going to be that. Red, we got Super Gogeta, Zenkai, but he's old. And then uh, yellow, these are replaceable. So either red or yellow, in my personal opinion. Now, to the point that I mentioned about, uh, you know, the fact that I don't like that it's going to be a singular unit ultra, most likely, if it falls under the path of the rest of the ultra banners. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I just really hope we see a Buhan, maybe a ultra Buhan versus an ultra Super Vegito. I think that would actually make uh, the anniversary a lot better, as opposed to just one character coming out. That would really suck. Just one character each banner. I feel like, I feel like for the anniversary and Black Friday slash Christmas uh, Legends Festival, they need to go over the top. They need to actually, we need to feel like they're actually, you know, going over the top and they're actually giving us more than what we want as opposed to just making it seem like it's a regular month. To be honest with you guys, like Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku came out in a regular month and, you know, that's if, if they follow the same path of just a regular ultra banner ultras are still hyper on its own don't get me wrong i'm not denying that but for an for a anniversary you got to go over the top in my personal opinion um but yeah you know and by the way if i if i seem tired I, i'm pretty tired right now I, I just finished a two hour workout so i am tired you guys can't tell because you know i got a lot of muscle on me but I, i'm wearing this uh i, I like to wear hoodies because i like to keep my room cold but, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty tired. I'm not going to lie. haven't shaved in a couple days. But Majin Buu Saga is something we could possibly be seeing as a buff in general. Um, you know, we all we obviously got Frieza Saga, a few Frieza Saga buffs. We got Sagas from the movie buffs. I feel like down the line, in the very near future, they're going to start buffing extra Sagas in general. So, for example, if Super Vegito comes out, he'll be buffing, you know, obviously Fusion Warrior. Uh, he'll be buffing probably Saiyans. 
and then as well as Majin Buu Saga. So that's a very strong possibility. And for Buhan, Regen, powerful opponents, and Majin Buu Saga. So I really hope that they do bring that down the line. I mean, obviously, we, we did just get uh, this pickle, you know, Zenkai, uh, which is Regen. So they're not doing this. They're, they're, they're basically, what I'm trying to say, is they're doing this on purpose, guys. They're not just going to Zenkai somebody without actually trying to buff that specific tag. So I definitely do see a uh, buff down the line. And if not, in the very near future, uh, the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero comes out August 19th here in North America. So I do think at the end of the day, they are buffing Sagas with Dragon Fist and, and whatnot. And as well as a few, um, you know, Zenkais with, um, you know, obviously this Piccolo here, which would correlate to Orange Piccolo as well. So I do think some some stuffs are starting to, you know, uh, puzzle in together, in my personal opinion. So when we would get this Ultra Super Vegito, to be honest, I'm surprised we haven't really seen a, um, a videos and stuff. Um, yeah, we haven't seen a, a, a reviews and stuff uh, reveal at least, right? So it might it might not be this week. It could perhaps be the following next week. We we are getting bait banners obviously with uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kao Ken Goku. So I'm perhaps seeing it probably not this upcoming weekly reset, which it could still happen, but perhaps the next. So I'll make sure to keep you guys updated with that. But guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, once again, go check out, uh, DB, uh, DB underscore legends underscore, um, uh, JPN, I guess. Um, I don't know how to pronounce all this. I don't want to mispronounce this. So go check them out. Go check out the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys do want to support the content, make sure you guys simply like the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And by the way, I'm getting my extra cable where I can finally record more, uh, PVP showcases tonight should be coming in the mail. And um, yeah, that's the cable I pretty much uh, need to record and it's broken. So yeah, guys, I'm off to, to probably catch a nap after this workout. So yeah, catch you guys then. Have a good one. Peace.